Hey, it's Rob uh, with Mongrel Bees. I want to show, I, I do a lot of cutouts. Um, I do maybe three or four a year. Um, I could do more. I just don't want to. They're a lot of pain. Um, it is so much easier to catch bees in swarm traps. I caught uh, 21 out of 28 last year. Um, cutouts are great, but a lot of times it is hard to get clean. It's labor intensive. I charge a lot of money for them. Um, if you want to do cutouts, I started out doing for free a long time ago, and then as my skills got better, I charged more and more, and now I do a really uh, clean job of them. But one of the things I early on I learned how to do was um, build these clamshell frames. Um, this is by far the, much better than the first ones I did. Um, hurt myself on the first few. But the, what's nice about this is that when I want to do a cutout, um, and I pretty much only save these for when I'm way up on a ladder, say 30 feet up, and I've, I've got just like a little platform I'm dealing with, sometimes I'm actually cutting bees out from soffits outside, and uh, it can be a real pain. So it's, it's unsafe, um, but I still want to capture the, the larva and everything else. Um, so the way I do it is I, I build these things, and I, in the previous video, I kind of showed how I split them down the side with a bandsaw. Once I assemble them, and I use, um, the way I assemble them is I use uh, type on two, um, yeah, and um, half inch staples. I have a three eighths inch narrow crown stapler. And so I'll send them, I split them all first, then I assemble, glue and staple them together. On the bottoms, you'll see that it is, um, you can use pretty much any fabric. Um, I would recommend a, you know, a plastic type fabric so the bees don't chew it through it. But this is actually from an, an old roll of um, light blocking screen. So it's a screen material, it's fiberglass, and it's stapled pretty much all along the bottom as a hinge. And you wanna go a long strip. I used to try to like individual pieces and it would, it would just kind of wonky. This makes it extremely stable if you go along the entire bottom and staple those. <clears throat> On the top, the other piece that's um, kind of a big deal is there are two nails here. And one of them already has a piece of wire nailed to it. And the other piece is a nail that's barely sticking up. And what this does is I will open this up. I'll lay all my comb in there and then I'll close it and the wires will pinch a little bit. And then with a glove, even if the glove's completely covered in honey and everything else, um, I can take this wire and wrap it around that nail just one time. And now it's bonded in there. I have some frames that I've used 20 times before. Um, what will happen is the bees will take this, they'll stay in the box, it keeps them from absconding because there are larvae there. A lot of times they'll raise the, the, the larvae in there, but the, for whatever reason, I don't, um, I don't see them bonding a whole lot to the top of this. So I usually take these frames and I move them to the outside once the hive is established. And then when I can, I will take them back out again, undo the wire, open it up, take that uh, honeycomb out, and then I'm, I can reuse these. I probably use the same frames for five or six cutouts. Um, I don't make these any more necessarily in large volume. I've found an easier way and I'll do that in another video. But if you want to make these, this is the way you do it. You split it on a bandsaw, keep track of all the mating pieces. That'll make it easier for you. Glue and staple all the, the joints. Um, I use an upholstery stapler. This is a Porter Cable upholstery stapler. And I use that for the bottom hinges because a bigger staple would split them. And then for the wire, so you want to dial down your um, uh, air compressor, but you can still use, instead of an upholstery stapler, you can use a quarter inch. Um, let's see, these, these wire staples are, yeah. So it's a three inch crown, quarter inch leg. So you can use a quarter inch um, regular like compression stapler and do the same thing, but a quarter inch is the size you want. Um, Otherwise, it'll come through and it'll actually bind here in the top and especially at the bottom. Um, you got some room there. You could probably get by with a little bit more than a quarter inch, but quarter inch is what I use and I've been pretty happy with it. Um, if you try a higher pressure, it will actually cut the wire. And this wire is the same wire that you would do to embed wax in. So it's, um, it's, it's a pretty good wire uh, for this kind of product. So this is how I make what I call a clamshell frame or a clamshell uh, swarm frame. And um, again, I save these for my really tough cutouts where I'm way up on a ladder and I just need to grab something and do one activity. It's dropping the frame in there and closing it up.